solution. What comes to your mind first? <laughs> That's right. Oh, I know you. Okay, percent. That's right. Okay, so we deal with percent solution. What's the next one you heard? That's right, PPM. Oh, wait a minute. What does PPM stand for? That's right. This one means parts per million. That means 10 to the 6th power, right? Oh, that's it. Now, okay, what about percent then? Or oh, sometimes they call PPH. That's it. You know what they mean already. Okay, that's right. This one, so parts per 100, which is 10 to the 2nd power. You go to shopping center, then, oh, you're going to discount some item? Oh, that's right. Percent. Always they use percent, right? So popular. You must know this one. Also, in the kitchen, that's right. Every recipe, oh, talking about how many percent, salt, you know, things like that, right? So, when did we see this PPM? Oh, parts per million? That means, oh, man, very small amount, right? So, usually we're talking about poison, things like that, right? Okay, toxication. Yeah, this sounds very funny, but hey, you know, we can use like a poison means like this one. Uh, so we have some uh, chemical right here, very dangerous chemical, right? Then uh, we can take, uh, you know, how much? Yeah, zero is the better, but we can take up to how much? Then they can say, yeah, you can have this one maybe about 3 ppm. Oh, that means, oh man. Okay, so three parts out of million. Oh, just like this, right? Okay, then maybe we can say, oh, how much chlorine? So we can get like a chloride, okay? So then, oh, they can say like more than 5 ppm. Oh, that's dangerous, something like that. You know, anyway, okay? So make it simple. So next one, we're talking about what? That's right. You know what? All this one right here. So we were talking about just a volume and weight. Okay, not considered with chemically. Yeah, that's why somebody who took chemistry, that's right, they're talking about molar solution, right? Oh, that's right. Maybe they can say like this one. Okay, 2.3 M solution, maybe NaCl, okay, something like that. Okay, uh, then uh, maybe they can say after that, okay, they more accurately, they're talking about like a titration going on. Okay, then they can use maybe, oh, 3.0 normal solution. Oh, man. So, oh, very accurate, right? For like a sulfuric acid. Okay, things like that. Now, the next one. Oh, so very small amount in our body maybe. Okay, like a sodium potassium value. Oh, man, very important, right? Okay, that's right. This was the cations, okay? Anions, maybe, oh, chloride in our body, right? Actually, outside of a cell, so this one, okay, sodium is a chief cation. Oh, man. So 140, that's right. They say milli equivalent per liter. Oh, which is actually milli normal. The same thing, okay? One thousandth of normal. What about outside our red blood cell? Okay, maybe potassium value. Oh, you heard about this one, right? Maybe they can say, oh, yeah, that's right. 5.0 milli equivalent per liter. That's normal value, right? Less than that? Oh, man. Oh, in trouble, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, like less than three was dangerous. But this one is normal value. Also, these are not only uh, electrolytes, okay, also like a potassium, oh, controls our heartbeat, right? Oh, man, very interesting. Anyway, just to trust me, okay? Very interesting. Okay, now, hey, I don't want to be bored. Okay, so I'm going to go back to percent. Now, oh, let's make a, that's right, five is the easy number. Okay, so let's use five. Okay, so five percent salt solution, which is regular salt, which is NaCl. Okay, so now salt is actually solid, right? Solid, which is granule. Okay, also you can call this one powder. That's right. 
So in this case, you just weigh this one. Oh, that's right, five grams. Okay, five grams of salt. Then you put this one in uh, water, right? That's what we call solution. Now, uh, inside of that one, so you just put a water first, a little bit. Usually, you can use a flask. Okay. Now, then you just put a little bit of water first. Okay. Then you mix with this one. Then mix a little bit. Then you pour rest of water. Okay. Usually up to 100 cc. Cc stands for what? Cubic centimeters. That's right. Cubic centimeter means like this one. Cubic centimeters. Oh, <laughs> which is same as milliliter. Oh, the same thing. But Usually in the laboratory, okay, they use 100 milliliters of water. Then you pour uh, that powder, NaCl. Okay, that means, okay, it's going to be raised up a little bit. Okay, so not really accurate, but so most people use that technique. Okay, talking about solution. Uh, that means I got to make about 5, maybe to 10 uh, videos on this matter. Okay, because this is really interesting and important because think about it okay in the kitchen in the laboratory pharmacy you go anywhere okay so you have to deal with solution so if you don't know this one man deep kimchi i was working in the laboratory in the hospital okay that i saw so many people okay had a problem with this solution okay so oh uh, okay especially uh, uh i want to talk about this matter uh, next time about dilution okay let me explain to you uh, simply okay dilution means like a make it like a thinner or uh, then thicker right okay so in other words just like this one let's talk about ferric chloride okay so we have ferric chloride which is ferric means like a iron 3 right okay that means okay we're gonna put 3 right there so ferric chloride is very hard to dissolve in water that takes a long time, but sometimes you need right away. But uh, uh, that's why it takes about 30, maybe, or sometimes about one hour to dissolve this one, right? You're not going to wait for that. That's why you're going to make a stock solution. Uh -huh. Stock solution means like usually very thick okay, solution, high concentrated. So which is usually they make about 29%. Okay. Uh, then uh, you have a solution like this one already dissolved in water. Okay, then you keep this one on the shelf. Okay, then uh, you need maybe usually they need about 2%, something like that. Then you take some of this one to make 2% solution. That's what we call working solution. Oh, man. Very easy. Now, so one more important uh, matter. Okay. Uh, somebody say maybe, oh, why don't we make like a 2% originally? Why we make a 29% then dilution is involved? Oh, uh, you know why? Because, okay, we can keep this, okay, this one's like a rock, okay? Fairy chloride, just like a rock. We can keep this one forever maybe, okay? So as long as we keep this one in dry, um, uh, that's right, dry condition. Okay, then. Oh, higher concentrate, like a 29%, so longer lifespan. In other words, we can keep this one maybe you know, next few years, something like that. But lower con uh, concentration like this, so lifespan is very short. Okay, so this is going to be change in uh, nature, see? Also, another factor is the space, okay? If you keep this one, like a 2% solution, that means you need a big place to keep this one, right? Big storage room. But 29%, oh, you need a small place, okay? So we deal with many, many solutions. Another good example is alcohol. Uh, usually we get alcohol, two different types of alcohol we purchase, right? Uh, like absolute alcohol, which is 100%, or usually 95%, okay? This is a high concentrated alcohol, right? Usually uh, we deal with what? Uh, like alcohol is... Uh, Ethyl alcohol, so usually we call it ETOH. Okay, now methyl alcohol, uh, MEOH. Okay, things like that, right? But usually we buy last this one, okay? Then uh, we have 95%, but usually we need maybe, okay, 30%, 50%, okay, 70%. 
Usually, oh, we use a lot, okay, 70% alcohol, okay, so the working alcohol. But then you have to dilute, okay, 95% to 70%, then use it. Things like that. So in other words, without this one, then you cannot be pharmacist, doctor, nurse, laboratory worker, x-ray technician. I mean, you name anything in this world. In the kitchen, Chinese restaurant, oriental restaurant. Oh, man, I'm telling you. Man, talking about restaurant, I'm hungry. Now, I gotta go eat, then come back to make video two.